Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. So what happens if we apply the soya bean on our hydrangea plants? In today's video, you would see everything with updates. I would also like to provide you quick updates from past 2 to 3 years so that you can understand everything. I love hydrangea plants a lot and there are actually many reasons to love them. The most plus point is they bloom quite heavily and the blooms last for many days. I already have one video where I have shown how I transformed one of my hydrangea plant from this days to this days. As you can see I got very good result and that time I applied few components to get such results. Due to the lack of the time, unfortunately I could not do anything last year. Other than providing few handful of compost, I did not do anything. On this footage, you can see that my plant was blooming but it was not okay. It was not looking bushy and much healthy. I am sorry for the vertical clip, I actually recorded this for the reel. But in 2022, I decided to work on my hydrangea plant. If you have seen my previous video, you have already seen that I have reported my plant. I tried to do the same thing this year as well, but the pot was quite bigger and it was somewhat difficult task. So instead of going through all the hassle of reporting again, I decided to apply something strong component so that I can get good result. The strong and effective component is nothing but soya bean. Actually this is for us to consume and if you like, you can buy the cheap soya bean as well. Why soya beans? I believe you already know that it has lots of protein and soya bean proteins contain most of the essential amino acids. To be healthy, we need protein and it's the same for plants. In my previous video, you have already seen that I have applied mustard cake powder. Well, mustard cake powder is very rich in protein and it works great on plants. On this video, I am not going to talk too much about what soya bean contains. And if you like, you can simply do a Google search. One warning. It smells really very bad whenever we make them in powder form. So please be careful. Alright, so here is the same hydrangea plant and it's the update from 2022. 65 days back, I have already applied once. Let's apply once again and then we will see the final result. Before applying, here I am removing all the dead branches. My hydrangea plant is in a 16 inch pot, that's why I am applying 50 grams of soya bean powder. Next applying 50 grams of bone meal. The third component is 1 teaspoon of biovita seaweed extract. That's it and please note that applying only twice would be more than enough. The first dose you can apply at the end of February and the second dose after 60 to 65 days. You can repeat the same again after 60 to 65 days if you want. Finally, adding some fresh soil mix on the top. It's important to cover the fertilizers or else you may find fungus attack on your plant. Next, watering my plant. Hydrangea needs lots of water and I need to water my plant daily. Let's take a look at the result now. So it's the final result and here you can see that my hydrangea plant is looking very very beautiful. The blooms are huge as we can see. Without doing many things, I am getting almost similar result like 2020. But still, if your plant is very unhealthy, something like this one, then I would highly recommend you to do all the things that I have shown in my previous video. You would find the link to that video in the description box. Once your plant starts to look somewhat healthy and bigger, you can do the same thing like me. 
Many people ask me why my hydrangea plants are not blooming. There are many issues and here I am giving one helpful tip. Whenever you buy any new hydrangea plant, please buy only those plants on which you can see the buds at least. By doing this, you can be sure that your plants are going to bloom in coming days. For example, recently I have collected few blue hydrangea plant. Though they are looking very unhealthy, I still decided to get them as they were blooming. I have to agree that we find many issues while growing the hydrangea plant. If you want to know how to fix all those issues, then please check out my next video. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching, take care and enjoy.